What is our next adventure? Our next road trip. West Edmonton Mall and Calgary. We are Alberta bound. Uh, we will be gone for nine days, I think. Yeah. And yeah, so we're going to spend some time in Jasper today. That's going to be our, our thing today. And then we are going to spend, I think, four nights at West Edmonton Mall. I'm talking to you like you would know, but I'm the one who actually made the reservations. And we're going on trails and stuff. Yeah, today we're going to check out some trails and some hiking, like, yeah, in the park, the Jasper National Park. And then after we're done our West Edmonton Mall extravaganza, we are going to go to Calgary for three days, something like that. We brought Stitch, but Stitch, I don't know where Stitch went. He's back there. And we are also bringing my mom, so her grandma. Her, na her nanny, we call her nanny, and we are going to do, yeah, a total girls trip. It'll be fun. I think we're going to pick up our, go see our uh, hitchhiker Taylor in Edmonton. She's staying in Edmonton right now with her grandma. And when we go to Calgary, um, we are going to hang out with one of my, like, best friends. So yeah, it's going to be a week full, a nine days full of girly time, except for Stitch but Stitch will be okay. He'll deal with it. Let's go. Let's go? Okay, let's go. For real this time. Let's go. So we are at we're at Ancient Forest. Um, this is our first first stop of the day. It is absolutely beautiful outside. We've done this before. Um, you are allowed pets, but you, they have to be on leash. They have outhouses. They have picnic area over there, a covered picnic area, which is nice. And yeah, they actually have a few outhouses. One, two, with two down there. One up here. I am struggling to find a garbage can though. Um, I believe this is the wheelchair accessible area. I believe, maybe. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Not sure. Oh right, yeah, so we'll check this out. Confused. Sorry, buddy, I'm just trying to go by. <laughs> What is that? It's a caterpillar. Gross. I want it. Gross, you want oh. it? Oh, it's dry. Look, there's not even any water in the creek. Oh. pass through the area, so please keep small children close to you at all times.
Like a person reaching out their arms to soak up the warm rays of the sun, this mighty cedar stretches towards the sky. Given the name Tree Beard by local hikers, this cedar appears to be the guardian of the forest. Big tree that away. Let's find it. Look up at the cedar circle in the sky. The name Big Tree is almost an understatement for this grand giant. Measuring 16 feet in diameter, this great western red cedar is estimated to be at least a thousand, perhaps as much as 2,000 years old. Unfortunately, it is almost impossible to know the exact age of the big tree and the other great cedar trees. The rotten interior of its core makes it difficult to date. So any ages that have been stated or accurate, educated estimates. So we go stand in front of there to show and then widen your arms to show how big it actually is. Go like this. So it starts here. I mean, this is kind of, but yeah. What does it say? Sometimes they grow in groups of three to five to form a circle. So this would be it right here. Our second part of our like the second hike that we're doing is the rear guard falls we are unfortunately here at the wrong time because I don't think that we'll be able to see the salmon jump but that's okay dad said maybe oh dad said maybe we'll see him well I said I asked for like a freezer like me said maybe Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. But there is outhouses right up there. Two of them, I think. And I'll show you the pathway. You can hear the falls. She's right behind us. trying to jump up the fall. I've seen it before. Zoe has two vital. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, she can't remember, but it's really cool. Um, it's like August. I think it's in August, yeah. So I think, unfortunately, we're here at the wrong time. I've been looking, can't see anything. But with that said, it took like, what, two minutes, if that, to walk down here? Like, it's not really a hike. It's a very short, um, short trail if you will but it's absolutely beautiful
This is where they do, they bring you down to go White River rafting. For anybody who's brave enough, we're not allowed down there because we're not brave people to do White River rafting. I actually seen them doing it once too. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was very cool from the safety of the ground for me. You wanted me to say it. I said it. I'm trying to get Zoe to be more, more involved. She's a little camera shy. Mm -hmm. Okay, look. Over here, way over there. Oh, can't see it on the camera, but BC is over there. Would you like your picture taken in front of the Alberta sign? You've had it uh, how many times that picture taken? Twice. More than twice. Yeah, BC's over there. So right now we're in between of nowhere? Technically? Uh, yeah, we're like on the line. Like you know how the... The border line? No, how the maps have the line. Black line. always hide your face. Mm -hmm. We are in Jasper. <laughs> What's the matter? That guy is right there. staring at us. No, it's not. It's okay, Zoe. Oh, we better stop because there's people yeah. coming. So Candy's Bear Lair. A cute little town. Got a nice vibe. Hey, should we go in the candy store? What do you think? It all looks so good. Sea salted vanilla caramel. Dark milk. Hi, just looking. Thank you. A buffalo chunk. Just <laughs> Looks good. Can I get this? If you want to buy it for yourself. Which one? It all looks good. And which one? Yeah, the peanut butter cup looks good. These look good too. Are you sure you don't want your picture taken with him? He's pretty cute. So you can see them making through the window. Kind of. Which place is this one called? Bear, Candy Bear's Lair. My mom is in the liquor store right now. But we should check out like a little, little gift shop or something.
What did you want to get for our hitchhiker, for our tailor? Oh my goodness, you're so, so your father. Oh, he's cute. $30. Little stuffies. <laughs> is that they have a wall of dogs and their stories. I mean... What did you get? Let's go outside for a second. So what kind did you get? And how is it? I don't know. You try it, because I don't know how to explain it. Well, just take a bite first. Is it good? Bad? It's definitely mint and lime. <laughs> Does it taste like mint and lime? Yeah. What did Nanny get? Um, You're gonna be on YouTube. Are you okay? One, one maple walnut. Maple walnuts. That's the best walnut. kind. <laughs> what do I do this? Why is it? Oh, okay, go try it. Nanny's trying the mojito. Oh. <laughs> it's very strong. Like it has a really strong flavor. I yeah. like it. Do you like it? Yeah, it's strong. It's my toys with the. All right, let's go hit the road, make some tracks. It's right there, Zoe. Oh, I didn't see it. The elf canal. There's another one up front. Oh, they're so pretty. going to eat at Carolicia Mr. Mike's Steakhouse in Hinton, Alberta. I almost said Hinton, BC. So Zoe and I got the chicken salad and then my mom got the gluten-free lettuce wrap burger with the fries. And bon appétit. Bon appétit.
another budget hotel because when we get to hotels late and we just leave early in the morning, I don't like spending a bunch of money. But, so right when you come in, there's a closet, iron, ironing board, um, little mat for ready shoes. Bathroom is huge. And what I really like about this is there's the sink, obviously, but there's also a sink out here, right? So you have the full bathroom, three-piece bathroom, but then out here you also have an extra sink for in the morning for getting ready. So that's really nice. And then we have They feel really soft. And of course, the local Super 8 art that we mentioned in the Casa video. Nice table, chair. There's, you know, dresser, TV, fridge, microwave, coffee maker. Looks like that's tea and tea. Um, there was fruit downstairs that you can grab. I, I didn't bother. And this room was on a Saturday night in Alberta, Edson. It was $130 that included tax and everything. So yeah, another budget hotel. <laughs> and from what we can tell, it's super clean and that's what's the most important for me anyway. It smells clean. It smells clean, yeah. yeah. So yeah, that is our budget hotel for tonight. It's also right beside a Dairy Queen and a Tim Hortons and then Shoppers Drug Mart, liquor store, grocery store. You know, for 130 bucks, I don't need fancy. What's that? These are my pajamas. It's got a cute little raccoon. And it's got a little rabbit and there. I don't know your fingers. And look, we're by the campfire. Are they cute? We're gonna start with Ancient Forest. What did you think? I think that it's fairly easy because there is seniors that were doing it. Okay. You don't have to make fun of me. I'm not making fun of you, I'm just saying there's there there's definitely like some uphill, but it's all boardwalk. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to go uphill. Like there's choices. I think yeah, it's you made us. I think it's over there. Why not? I think it's beautiful myself. Yeah. I think it's uh, it's highly recommended. I highly recommend it. We had my mom with us, and she was fine. And then there was a few other older ladies that we ran into, and they they seemed to be doing okay. I mean, if you're in a wheelchair, probably not. The French bulldog was doing better than me. Yeah, we've seen a cute little French bulldog. He was cute. But what I'm saying is if you have like really high mobility issues, probably maybe not the best. But it took us about an hour to do, I would say. And it was pretty. Very beautiful. Big, big, big cedar trees. Streams. Gold dust on the trees. Rear guard. Worse. <laughs> It was, it was hot outside. It was 31 degrees outside and it was literally a two minute walk to the falls. It was all walk. uphill. Going there was downhill. Zoe. Doesn't matter. It was still uphill on the way back. The only thing that was disappointing about that was that there was the salmon weren't jumping, but. It's not their fault. But I don't know. I think it's a quick little, quick little, you know, stretch your leg type thing. Jasper. We didn't vlog too much of last that ice cream jasper was amazing it was also very expensive which i didn't buy it my mom did but it was seven dollars it was eight dollars it was it was like over just over 14 dollars for two small like scoops but that's jasper it was 16 dollars it was 16 dollars i remember it was for, 7 for two scoops of ice cream the tech, yeah. It was 
I mean, it's Jasper, it's a touristy. Yeah. Um, but we, you know, we looked around the stores and stuff and I don't know, I didn't, we didn't vlog too much, but it's Jasper, it's a cute little, cute little touristy town. What'd you think of dinner? Oh, that was like the best part. No, actually the ice cream was the best part. No, there are two best parts, the ice cream and then dinner. I always get the kick, am I allowed to say that word on YouTube? It's called the kick-ass chicken, chicken salad. salad. And I always get it when I go to Mr. Mike's because it's so delicious. And dinner was, after tip and everything, 50 bucks for just the two of us, mom paid for her own. And then, yeah, it was good. It was Mr. Mike's. I like Mr. Mike's. And then we went to um, Edson to spend the night at the Super 8 and it's clean, very spacious. Budget hotel. It's all good. Anything else you would like to add about your day? We've seen elk and we've seen a bear. We've seen a lot of with, things. We've seen bear with three baby cubs. Tons of little squirrels in the ancient forest. And caterpillars. Mm. We love caterpillars. <laughs> they weren't even cute caterpillars. No, I know. What are you doing? They're kind of ugly. I found that in my pants. Anyway. <laughs> uh, is that it? I'm tired. I don't know what she's doing right now. That's the end of the road for us because I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. I don't. Well, you don't have to. I won't. Okay. It's really like only eight. Well, I mean, it's nine in Alberta time. Exactly. That means eight. This is the end of the road for us. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch you later.